our culture as a nation uh, worldwide is involving the food, the music, the art, the dance. It's all form of being alive. I'm very excited to be participating um, in Food is Culture. It's an extraordinary opportunity uh, because when we create our own art mediums, you know, like we're limited to the medium that we produce our work in. So when you're collaborating with somebody else who does something completely different, it kind of opens up new opportunities. You want to try something different. Everything is an inspiration in kitchen. Maybe sometimes you cook and you smell from your window something else. When you are in your house and directly you get inspired from this smell and you try to create something similar. الألوان تعطي الإنسان إحساس بالسعادة يعني الواحد غصبا عنه إذا شاف رينبو بيبتسم فدائما يرتبط عندي الفن بال يعني بالسعادة وبالألوان بالتعبير عن مشاعر الفرح. I think art is about perspective. I think anything can be artistic. Anything can be beautiful. It depends on even something that most people may not see in that way. I think it's just a matter of perspective. والله متحمسة وايد لأن كأن في نوع من التحدي يعني أول مرة إني بشارك في مشروع مع شيف كان بالنسبة لي العنوان جدا مختلف وحسيت إنه راح يفتح لي أبواب جديدة في التعاطي مع الفن لأن الفنان كل ما كانت عند المثيرات إلى العمل الفني مختلفة كل ما كانت النتائج يعني مختلفة Art is extremely varied. There are so many different types of it and so many expressions of art. And this food is culture three, if you will, is a very clear example. It's going to represent extremely well what food, art, culture combined together can give now in our modern era, in our modern time in 2018. Photography has always been a passion for me. I enjoy going out, documenting things, recording things. It's very important for me um, and recording our culture for like future generations to see it. I've worked in the food industry for about five years. I always imagined myself uh, working in leisure. However, I found myself gravitating towards this field. Um, the more that I plan to do something else, I find myself actually doing this. I've been in the culinary field for about six, seven years. The line between art and food is definitely blurred. We use art when it comes to plating. Our inspiration can come from painting, from a selection of colors, from something we see on the road. And that brings together textures and the final feel of a dish can very much be influenced by art we see every day. بديت في الستريت ارت والجرافيتي تقريبا من 10 سنوات. في سنه 2007 قررت ان الاوراق واللوحات وايد صغيره. حق الاشياء اللي يعني وايد صغيره حق كمساحه فقررت استخدم الجدران على اساس اني ما اخلي لي اي لمت ما اوقف ما في شيء ما عندي حواجز. I'm always inspired sometimes I just stick my canvas in front of me and it's blank and the ideas just flow sometimes I hate it sometimes I throw it or I go back to it. So it's just a dynamic uh, circle that uh, I'm really blessed that uh, I'm in it. And I like adventures myself. I like to be a pioneer in my life and not a follower. And I feel there's no, nothing else that, uh, that can replace this cooking field. I want to bring what I started with, like uh, evolving the everyday food, make it healthier, uh, make it tastier. I had the natural uh, feelings for cooking and I start to have a different vision, different approach for my work. What inspires me is art. What inspires me is the possibility to try to do something, to try to inspire and to try to elevate myself or my work to a level that I will be satisfied. I started to paint from about 97. I'm a very proud of people. 
من الناس في كل العالم هو بس في البحرين يعني ثاني شيء الموسيقى وايد انا اتاثر بالموسيقى الموسيقى اللي اسمعها وايد تاثر في يدي يعني واللون اللي اختاره عيوني وين تروح على اي لون وثالث شيء القراءه بداياتي في الفن كانت جدا مبكره يعني منذ الطفوله يعني اقدم لوحه عندي موقعه 1990 لوحه زيتيه بالنسبه للفن فعل يومي يعني بشكل يومي انا اتواجد في المرسم وارسم يعني وهو ياخذ مساحه جدا كبيره من تفكيري طوال اليوم يعني طبعا انا بالنسبه لي الطبخ كان شيء وايد احب اسويه وامارسه من يوم عمري ثمان سنوات اول مره دخلت المطبخ مجرد اني كنت اساعد وايد حبيت سالفه ان انا اطبخ عشان ايمع ربعي او اهلنا و يعني اتس اولويز ا نايس جاذرينج لما يكون في اكل ويكون في يمعه فارتبط عندي هاي الشيء دائما من كنت صغيره بس عمري ما توقعت ان هاي بيكون مجال عمل I'd like to welcome everyone. Thank you very much for being at the museum tonight. This is the third edition of Food is Culture. I'm you know, personally delighted that this initiative has been going on and going strong. I'd like to thank everyone, the amazing chefs, the amazing artists who have participated with us. I'd like to thank my wonderful team, people who I work very closely with and who made this a success. And I'd like to thank all of you for being here tonight and for supporting. I'm very touched about the work of Feika. Why? Because she has an interesting work with the small people. We want to do something big, so something big. We want to do a really live performance, and we believe that if you really want to do a live performance, that people can see or that you can touch the emotion of the people. فصار بيننا نوع من التفاهم السريع لأن هو كأنه يرسم بال بالألوان. وهو كله من شوكليت وهو يصنع هذه الالوان. We will paint together and we'll associate the work I think to a recent work and it's all the same universe it's about the little people it's about the children also so we are going to try to work with this approach and to use of course French technique for the food but with uh, Bahraini artist uh, flavor inspiration from Faika. فهو لما ياني زارني في المرسم وشافني انا وايد اميل الى اللون الازرق اكثر شيء واللون البيج لون اللي طبعا احنا اول يبنا هاي الالوان البيج هو لون الرمل والصحراء اللي عندنا والازرق لون البحر بحر البحرين فحب الفكره ان احنا نجمع بين هاي اللونين في الاكل فاحنا سوينا هاي الفكره ان شاء الله تنال الاعجاب tonight um... It's going to be a French approach from my side with something quite famous in France, which is the croque en bouche. It's a big tower with a puff pastry and fill it with different flavor. So this is what I bring. And I bring this croque en bouche because the idea came from Faker. And just I realized it with the team of the Red Skelton, we bring it. And then after all, what is about flavor, what is about painting, what we are going to do tonight, it's more about fake inspiration. My collaboration with Uedad, actually from the first time we met, it gave me a very nice spirit of, uh, of something new coming into you. Uedad is very calm, Uedad is very, is very lovely. The first impression when I met him 
uh, he was uh, that kind of uh, uh, passionate, humble person. Uh, and he is just open to diversity, open to dialogue, and he is really, uh, he loves what he's doing. And the first thing he said uh, to us is, uh, food is humble, let us have the humble food and let, let everybody enjoy it. We sat around the table and we thought for hours, and uh, in the end of the day we said we are going to use uh, humble ingredients to work with. So I dropped on the table the radish, she dropped on the table the basil, we dropped on the table the roots, so do expect something crazy from us, only with humble ingredients. This time we want to exchange roles between me and Costas. I'm gonna try to cook and he's gonna try to paint. I was really thrilled when he told me about the art formula that he created uh, through Unlock. Since that time, I, I made all of my uh, art uh, regarding this uh, key element, which is uh, Unlock. Unlock your creativity, uh, your passion, your love, your peace, your rational thinking, your negative uh, uh, perspectives, and so on. We agreed on basil, which is a very nice ingredient. It grows, it's a blessed, it's a blessed herb. Uh, so what you, what you are about to experience today is uh, there's no steak, there's no fish, there's no lamp. It's all about radis. There are tiny things in life, like love, like friendship, like uh, honesty, like as we dad said, coexistence. With this concept, we try to marry two cultures, which is Greek and Arabic. Yeah, I have a say that uh, I always like to adapt without uh, culture there is no society and without uh, with and uh, without art there is no culture so uh, that's why we're all here uh, in this uh, beautiful uh, night artist uh, that I'm be working with, Mahmoud Sharqawi. He is a graffiti artist and the first of his type to be involved in food is culture. And his art is very public, a different form of art than the stuffy galleries that you need invitations to, to go to and to see. It's accessible. It's everybody's art. We love to be in a street location, as street food, ولا ستريت ارت جرافيتي ف احس بسام وايد شخص مناسب ان اشتغل وياه. I expect the collaboration between me and Mahmoud to be very organic. Uh, I'm actually going to be going out with him uh, while he's working on his piece just to get a feel for it. Maybe I don't know, maybe contribute to a piece. Not sure if I'll be any good, but I'm hoping. And to see his process and, and learn how he goes about it because Unlike canvas or a very limited space, graffiti can take something from a tiny block all the way to a full-blown mural. To, to see that in action, I think will be just great. We want to get out of the boundaries. We want to get a new idea and an natural Me and Bassam met, and we started talking and uh, and trying to get things in common between us. And uh, through the talk, we found out that uh, we like the same, uh, I would say, artist that inspired uh, inspired us to do this work, uh, which is uh, the great Tarantino. So we basically collected elements from uh, the movies. Uh, to represent them, so if it's a, a food or, a, or um, an artwork. I think um, in the beginning when me and Mahmoud met, 
uh, his medium is graffiti in general. It is something he likes to use to express any idea, and it's a it's an open platform basically. We connected on the Quentin Tarantino movies. So we've chosen three main dishes that are represented in these movies. And I basically took them, since graffiti is an art form that is available on the streets, it's accessible to everybody. We've chosen to take the foods in these movies and translate them into street food. Something accessible, easy, cheap, but delicious. And um, basically present them to you guys as a representation of both his art form as being open to all and street food being open to all. When collaborating with Sania, we were talking about what we'd like to do. And we were talking about Bahrain, what Bahrain means to us, and how precious it is. Um, and so we decided that our theme would be precious interpretations. Throughout the theme, you'll find that we're using precious uh, elements. Uh, we're you know, making the most of what we have here um, on our island. I love that we have a very similar perspective. I've seen a lot of neon art, um, artists who work with just neon lights, creating different neon projects. Um, and there was this painter who produced this artwork and embedded the neon lights in her artwork. And I said, wow, this would be you know, great for me to do, to experiment with. I'd love to use neon lights, um, use Arabic words, put them into my uh, photography pieces. Um, and, and just try something different. I'm very excited about it because I would love to see um, the reactions of people when they try out our recipes and when they see how we came together. It's an experimentation and I, and I think um, wherever we end up, it's, it's gonna be something different. In the works that we did today, um, the precious elements we used were gold and the saffron, things that we work with as Bahrainis, and also things that, we, that are precious to, from our environment. As you can see from the images that I've showcased, uh, there are certain green areas of Bahrain, certain places that I feel are very nostalgic um, and have a special uh, kind of feeling when I go there. Um, and the piece behind me relates to my imagination of what could possibly be a barren future. The neon sign is just, is, isn't just as a warning sign, but it's a very commercial, very uh, unnatural element. So for me, um, it was just a very clear way to, to give my message forward. We should really start having this discussion about saving the environment and progress while preserving you know, these important areas in Bahrain. I hope you enjoy our flavors tonight and uh, please let me know if there's anything you want to ask as well. أكثر شيء حسيت المشترك ما بيني وما بين فاطمة يعني في الأشياء المتضادة يعني نحاول نقربها مع بعض يعني مع بعض هالبعض يعني نخلق علاقات جديدة. فحسيت إن في وايد يعني كذي انسجام في طريقة التفكير فما كان صعب أصلاً علينا نحن نطلع بفكرة من أول مرة قعدنا مع بعض سولفنا تزن يكلك يعني في أشخاص يكلك معهم من أول لحظة. بالنسبة لي في في الألوان أنا دائما يعني أحاول إن أنا أجيب المتضادات اللونية أخليها مع بعض أو حتى أو حتى بالنسبة إلى المواضيع في اللوحة الواحدة يعني أحاول أخلي علاقات ما بين الأشياء المتضادة 
وهذا الشيء اللي حسيته موجود عند فاطمه ايضا بالنسبه الى الطعام بالنسبه الى المذاقات المختلفه يعني ان هي تحاول دائما تخلق يعني مذاقات جديده انا شفت شلون هو بعد طريقته في الفن ان ليميتد يعني ما ما يحد نفسه بقوانين معينه يحط اللوحه ويحط الالوان واي شيء يجي في باله يحطهم مع بعض حتى لو كانت بالنسبه لنا او بالنسبه حق الناس انها تقول هاي اللون ما يركب مع هاي اللون او هاي الاليمنت ما يدخل في هاي اللوحه هو يحطهم مع بعض هاي بالضبط اللي انا اسويه في اطباقي بالنسبه لي كفنان اللون هو بيكون العنصر الرئيسي وبالنسبه لفاطمه بتكون هاي المذاقات المختلفه يعني وجودها مع بعض بتكون هذه الثيمه الرئيسيه الى العمل فبيكون اللون يعني بشكل اساسي هو الثيمه الرئيسيه للعمل بالنسبة لي لأن الألوان هي بهجة فالبهجة بالنسبة لي هي أمنياتي الأمنيات اللي إحنا من الفطرة تكون داخلنا وإحنا صغار دائماً في شيء نتمنى وفكرت شنو بالنسبة لي أنا شخصياً تعني لي هذه الألوان اللي أنا قاعدة أستخدمها في أطباقي شنو الشعور اللي أبي أوصله حق الناس لما هم يذوقون النكهة في الطبق لأن العين تأكل قبل هم بيشوفون البليتنج أول الهدف كان من من اني اقدر اغير مواقع هذه اللوحات هو يعني البحث عن دائما الخيارات الجديده، هذا الشكل اللي استخدمته هني اللي نص دائره تقريبا انا اقصد بالاتجاه يعني الاتجاه في عندنا هني اتجاه مختلف وهذا الاتجاه ايضا اتجاه اخر مختلف، لما نغير التركيب في هذه اللوحه راح نحصل على نتائج ثانيه مثلا يعني الحين صارت عندنا نتيجه ثانيه الى اللوحه وكل ما نغير في هذه اللوحه راح نحصل على ايضا يعني نتائج او قراءات ثانيه فعلى هذا الاساس خليت ان اللوحه اليها اكثر من طريقه في هالحاله راح يكون الاتجاه اتجاه واحد بالنسبه الى العمل الموجود <تصفيق>